Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, when we left off, we had finally secured Bastila. And... I'm keeping her in the party, because I'm a fan of having Jedi along for the ride. And I'm keeping Zalbar, because he's such a freaking beast in melee combat. So our next lead is that Candrus wants to speak to us in the cantina. That is the Upper City Cantina, if you're wondering. So I am headed there. Presently. There are other things we can do too, but... It's pretty straightforward. We're good now. Since I at least have some better gear, we're also going to try and tackle the rest of the dual ring. It's not going to be easy in level 4. Just that out there now. Point of fact, it's going to be very difficult. But, we'll make it work. Alright, here is... I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Who are you? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. How do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. You should move on while we can. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. <clears throat> What's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. How are you going to manage that? Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes, then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. How am I supposed to get inside the military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kander has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid. But I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candorus, you've got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Journal entry added. Purchasing a droid. Candorus has told you that Janice Nall has a droid in her upper city shop that could get you into the Sith base. He said to just mention his name, and she'll sell him to you. Escaping Taurus. <coughs> Excuse me. Candorus Ordo, a Mandalorian mercenary working for Davik, will help you get off the planet if you break into the Sith military base and recover the planetary departure codes. A T3 droid could get you past the security doors, but it'll take more than that to deal with the Sith troopers inside. Sure. Alright. It's time, now, to do the rest of the duel ring. Ah, mysterious stranger. I knew you'd be back. They all come back. The latest find, the new rising star. 
We make good team. I'm making money. You're getting famous. It's all good. You want to step into the ring now? Are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelists on Terrace? I'm ready for a duel. You've got a real talent for this game, stranger. I think it's time you fought Laura. He's getting up there in years, but he's still very, very good. He used to be the duel champion. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. As a legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you. A mysterious stranger! Alright. thought as much. That didn't hurt him at all. That still didn't hurt him at all. I don't like that. Do I need to get close to him? What's the deal here? He one-shotted me. Amazing. Why is it not hurting him at all? I don't understand. I feel like maybe I just need to save scum. I'm hurting myself just as badly as I'm hurting him. Maybe I just need to run away. damage. Nope, can't take hits. Oh, this is the worst, worst kind of Well, see, what the hell was that? I need to understand what the freaking difference is.
game? Do not fucking teleport. I'm not cool with it. I don't appreciate finding myself suddenly locked into combat at melee range. Like that! Fuck! Game? You can't fucking do that! I really need you not to do that. God damn it, I'm gonna have to restart the fight because. Yeah, I, because it fucking stops me from moving. It locks me into, like, the combat stance. Do I want to be or not? Pause before I save. Combat stance. And that's when bad things happen. <laughs> Clearly cheesing the game. 
Time Lord powers. Scum. I'm tired of running away. The game's pretty much forcing it. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Marl is down! And questions about! Is this the end for the long-time bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? The mysterious stranger, which is waiting in the wings. Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the wild eye wonder finally be unseated? Journal entry added 125 experience received. Give me just a second. Ordering dinner for tonight. The Duel Ring. By defeating Marl, you've solidly staked your claim among the Duel Ring's elite. In fact, only one fighter stands between you and the title of Duel Champion, the crazed Rodian Twitch. You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bendak in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while, think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. Tomorrow leaves. I've never been one. Okay. She still won't talk. I love watching guys here. Twitch is my favorite. He's got nothing. First I go down to an injury. Now it looks like Marl's been dropped by old age. No room in this game for the veterans anymore, I guess. But don't get cocky, kid. One day it'll happen to you too. 
Time catches up to us all sooner or later. Well, everyone except Bendix Starkiller. You beat Ice. Have a patch. All right. Let's talk to Andrew. Good fight, good fight. People like you, Mysterious Stranger. I bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy. I'm rich. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid. 10% of the purse. Rock the deal. Here's your credits. You come see me when you're ready to fight again. 400 credits from Odger. Now, what I didn't realize is that, uh, you always get a full heal at the start of every fight, so... Ah, oh, Mysterious Stranger, I knew you'd be back. They all come back. You're getting quite the reputation, Stranger. Everyone's excited. They all want to bet on your next match. I'm excited, too. And your bets means more credits for me. You want to step into the ring now? Are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelists on Terrace? I'm ready for a duel. You've beaten almost everyone, human. I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Twitch might be crazy, but he's the best in the game. If you can beat him, you'll be the new champion. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young kingdom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of ruling <coughs> champion, the mysterious stranger. Okay, here we go. So with Twitch, I think grenade spam should work. Let's try it out. Five experience received. The Duel Ring. Like all the others, Twitch was no match for you in the Duel Ring. The title of Duel Champion is yours by right and by might. Uh, you'll notice the quest is still in our log. That seems strange. Wow, you're the new champ. Congratulations, I guess. You know, when you started out, I actually thought I'd be able to crawl up from my last place ranking for a while. Shows what I know. Enjoy your time at the top, stranger. Sooner or later, someone will come along to knock you down here with the rest of us grinders. First I go down to an injury, but don't get caught. I've never been what no. Alright. Anyone else? Anyone? I recognize you. You're good, stranger. As good as I ever seen. With the exception of Bendix Stark. Twitch is my favorite. You fast, you quick. You even beat Twitch. Congratulations, mysterious stranger. You're the new dual champion. Twitch had a good run, but you took him down. Here's the curse for beating Twitch. The bad news is that I don't have anyone left who wants to fight you. You're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to go in the ring with you. The only one left who will fight you is Bendix Starkiller, but he's retired. Too bad. People would pay a fortune to see you fight Bendix. Journal entry added. Credits received 500. The Duel Ring. 
You are the reigning dual champion on Taras, but only by facing the legendary Bendix Starkiller in a death match can you prove yourself the greatest duelist of all time, unless you end up a smoking corpse in the middle of the ring. So I think I explained this earlier, but what's kind of dumb is that Bendek is evil. He's killed hundreds and hundreds of people in death matches. The only way you can collect his government-approved non-contract killing bounty is by fighting him in the death match, but you take a dark side hit for doing it. Now we're gonna do it because it's definitely worth the dark side hit, but you know, it's it I just think it's stupid. But it is what it is. So I think uh I think we need to speak to Bendek. Mysterious stranger, why are you here? I don't have anyone who wants to fight you. You're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to go in the ring with you. The only one who left will fight you is Bendek Starkiller. Yeah, we have to go talk to Bendek. And he said he would actually talk to us after we beat everyone else. Let's go speak with him. He's over here. Bendek Starkiller. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? I'm here to collect the bounty on your head, Bendik. So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. So you'll just hide in here like a coward? Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my bullying career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kinda missed the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest, so I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. You're on, Bendik. Name the time and place. Finally, fresh meat. Azura will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Journal entry added. The duel ring. Bendek Starkiller will face you in an illegal death match. The death match will take Adjur some time to prepare, giving ample opportunity for news of Bendek's return to spread quickly among the people of Taras. But when the battle is over, it's you the people will be talking about, you hope. Bendek's Bounty. You've located Bendek's Starkiller in the Upper City Cantina, but it looks like the only way you can collect his bounty is if you manage to beat him in the duel ring. Of course, you have to become the Taras duel champion before he'll come out of retirement to face you. Well, that's all done. So now we can go talk to Azure again. I heard the news, mysterious stranger. You and Bendik are planning a death match. This is excellent news. People will bet a fortune on this fight. Why are you here now? A death match takes time to get ready. I have to bribe officials so they don't break it up. You might as well leave the cantina for now and come back later. Alright. So for the moment, uh, we will, just to satisfy my little, I don't even know what to call it, my mind doesn't like going in injured, even if I happen to know that I'll get a full heal at the start of the fight, so, oh, wrong. Let's, let's do the transit heal. Pop back into the cantina. Just entering and leaving is enough for, you know, the requisite time to pass to set up the match. Right, let's go talk to Azur again. Oh! Zalbar and Bastila both leveled up. Interesting. So, Zalbar, let's do skills. I like repair. I guess I'll do... I'll do Demolitions and Treat Injury for Feats, 
We got Uncanny Dodge 2. Where is that? Ah. Uncanny Dodge 2, prerequisites level 7 scout. A character with Uncanny Dodge 2 retains the dexterity bonus to defense, even when surprised by camouflaged opponents, and also gains plus 4 on saves versus grenades. Now, I'm doing melee fighting with him. We've got improved flurry already. We've got weapon focus melee, so I'm going to give him dueling, since he doesn't have it yet. And for Bastila, awareness and treat injury, big yawn. But on powers, now she's got burst of speed, cure, and force valor. I'm not that interested in energy resistance. I could start her on the stun droid line. Or I could do energy resistance, or I could do force shield. I think... I think I'm interested in stun droid. I'd like to have that option, so let's do that. All right, now yes. my guy can help Dodger. Not too many people want to fight a deathmatch anymore. Some are scared, others think it's wrong to kill someone else for credits. I guess that's why they're illegal now. Maybe it is wrong to take a life just for credits. What, what are you talking about? No, 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 I was just making idle chatter. It doesn't mean anything. Bendik is an evil, evil man. Killing him would be a good thing. You're right, let's do this. This fight is different than most, of course. We'll turn off the energy suppressor so weapons won't be limited. They can kill. Anything goes. So you ready to fight this match now? I'm ready. Good, excellent. High wagering means lots of credits for the winner on this match. Come see me after the fight to collect your credits, if you're still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of you gone by to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're bad. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive... <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle, Bendik Starkiller! And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious Stranger! And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! Dark side points gained. See, that's just, it's so dumb, but whatever. And there is Bendit Starkiller. Because reasons. Let's try a plasma grenade. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, he killed me. To be expected, I suppose. So he's he's leading with grenades. I guess that's not exactly a surprise, but I should run away first. Very nice. Alright, we got the first grenade on scan. This is good. Not 
sure how he stunned me. I don't like it. Oh, what the fuck? How did he stun me? And why can I now not move? Oh, great. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. The game is fucking up. I'm gonna have to do a jump cut. Alright guys, I rewound to an earlier save before the fight started because somehow that stun just happened, even though it literally hadn't when I pushed the save button. And then, um, of course the game just keeps fucking up every time I try to load after I die, it becomes non-responsive. So, we're gonna try again. Hope for the best. <laughs> This corner, a living legend, a man whose very name would make his opponent oh, shake on. in their boots. The if any of them are still alive, <laughs> and who would play it now? Okay, I'm gonna do a hard save here just because it's been. Mm. Call it the combat save. I want to try hitting Bendik with a concussion grenade. The hope is to stun him. Didn't work. Why did you attack first? What, f what kind of fucking sense does that make? Oh, I'm gonna put an attack in the- I'm gonna put a regular, dumb old, dumb old physical attack in the queue first. Concussion grenade. Like the stun. I like it a lot. Didn't work. I don't like it when the stun doesn't work. I won't stand for it. I got about half his health, though, with those plasma grenades while he was stunned. That's pretty good. Alright, that worked. Why is there an ordinary attack in the queue? I don't understand why it keeps doing that. Overriding my control over the battle queue. Oh no. Fuck. It's the non-responsive thing again. You're, you're gonna see a jump cut. I'll be right back. I swear to god, this bug is driving me absolutely fucking crazy. Got it. Now don't you dare waste a turn on another attack. No part of it. Okay, 
seems like as long as it doesn't screw me over, a successful stun gets me three extra grenades. Of course, I, I damaged him so bad I fragment and finish him off. That's what I'm about. 700 XP, down he goes. Spendak is down! It's over! It's over! The fight is over! Spendak's Star Killer is down! Spendak's Star Killer is dead! All hail the mysterious stranger! The greatest duelist to ever grace the Rings of Terrace! Journal entry added, 105 experience points gained. Most excellent. Let's look here. Bendik's bounty. Bendik is dead. Now all you have to do is go back to Zax and collect his bounty. Sup, Odger? Bendik Starkiller is dead. I don't believe it. Bendik never loses. That was an amazing duel. Best duel I've ever seen. Glad you enjoyed it. Now where's my share of the purse? I know, I know. I'm a living legend. Now what about my cut? Cut the flattery, just get to my credits. Glad you enjoyed it. Now where's my share of the purse? Stop Done well, stranger. I'm pleased. Very pleased. Here are your credits. Plus, I'll give you Bendix Blaster Pistol as bonus as a sign of my appreciation. Thank you, Adger. That's very generous of you. I think I deserve a little extra for putting my life on the line. Very well, stranger. I like you, and this was a special fight. Biggest purse I've ever handled. I'll give you a little bonus this one time only. Everyone will be talking about you now, stranger. They're all going to know you were the one who killed that next star killer. You're famous now. 900 credits and an item. I believe Bendix Blaster is going to be better than the Heavy Blaster we're using. 1 to 8 plus 9... 2 to 7 plus 10. Yes, Bendex Blaster. Feats required weapon proficiency blaster pistol. Damage, energy 2 to 7, range 23 meters, critical threat 20, 20 times 2. Balance, plus 2 plus 0 versus 2 weapon penalty if used in the offhand. Attack modifier plus 1, special upgradable, ranged. The blaster belonged to Bendex Starkiller, a duelist legendary on Terrace. It is a highly adaptable weapon and is definitely a better quality than any standard issue pistol. So we can now, of course, tab out and go, uh... Upgrade it, which is a very wise thing for us to do. Hey, it's the mysterious stranger! Great match against Bendix Starkiller, truly one for the ages. I recognize you. I never thought anyone would ever beat Bendik. A hundred years from now, people will still be talking about you. Gerlon used to be... I never saw a deathmatch before. I thought it would be exciting, but it was actually kind of gross. Hey, you're one of the duelists. You beat Bendik Starkiller! I can't believe it! You actually beat him! Twitch is my... The serious stranger. The only one who'd fight you was Ben the Starkiller, but you killed him. Now I'll never find anyone to fight you. I'm sorry to say, but your dueling career is over, stranger. This is great. You beat Bendik. You're a legend. Whenever anyone asks, I can say I was the first duelist the mysterious stranger ever beat in the ring. I'm gonna be famous. Hmm. That's funny. I don't think you had a chance against Bendik, but you sure showed me. You showed us all. Too bad your career as a duelist is over now. I mean, nobody's gonna be stupid enough to go up against you anymore. Not even Twitch. Kind of funny, isn't it? You win the big match, and you kill your career. Congratulations, stranger. I never thought anyone would beat Starkiller. Did you know it was because of him that I became a duelist in the first place? As a little girl, I used to dream of meeting him one day. When I finally did, the guy was a complete slime ball. It made me realize I had to be cold and ruthless to survive. Like him, and now he's dead. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere. Something for me to think about at least. Congratulations again, stranger, and goodbye.
All right. Let's leave the Upper City Cantina. Now we're done here for good. But I am gonna transit back to the apartment. And... Um, hit the workbench. We're really not using car. Bendix Blaster. So the scope gives me an attack bonus of one. I have a hair trigger for an attack bonus of one. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these out of Karth's Blaster. Put them in Bendex instead. So that I'm a little more useful going forward. And then, of course, I'm going to bring... Aslan Zalbar for now. And we're going to transit back to where we were. So, let's see how bad the dark hit was. The answer's not very. Bendix Blaster is well worth it. Okay, let's go to the um, medical clinic. We can deliver the rack serum to uh, Zelka. Finish that quest. I forgot the, the dual ring. Bendek is dead, both in the ring and in the minds of the people. Now it is you they talk about, the mysterious stranger, the greatest duelist in the history of Terrace. Welcome back. I have the serum to cure the rat ghoul disease. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Here you go. Hold on, what about my reward? Here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it! A cure for the Rat Ghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take the small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Keep your reward, Zelka. You need it more than I do. Thank you, Zelka. That would be fine. Are you sure you couldn't spare a little something extra? That's it, after all the trouble I went to. You better come up with something extra or I'll put a smoking blaster bowl right between your eyes. Keep your rewards, Elka. You need it more than I do. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. I tell you what, I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. That's very kind of you. We're just glad we're able to bring some relief to the suffering of these people. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I'll be going now. Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Light side points, journal entry, 200 experience, and of course we lost our serum. Completed another quest. Rat Ghoul Serum. You've delivered the Rat Ghoul Serum to Zelka. He plans to mass produce it so that it will always be available in his store at a very affordable price for anyone who needs it. You blew it! If you brought that Rat Ghoul Serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No. You had to go and do the honorable thing. Yep. And of course, that, like, immediately more than undoes the dark hit we took for Bendak. <coughs> so, we head over here. There's another encounter that has populated since the last time we were here. These human, I am injured and in need of assistance. These human children keep hitting and kicking me. I cannot reason with them, but if I fight back, I could be arrested. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. 
Please, human, help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Hey, you kids, leave that Athorian alone. I'm sorry, I don't want to get involved. Leave that Athorian alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Fine, I don't want to get involved. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Get out of here, you punks, or you'll be the ones in pain. Uh, too. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit with a work associate when those child humans attacked me and chased me through the streets. You should be okay now. I'm glad I could help. You look hurt. Here, I've got a med pack. Let me help you. Do you have any kind of reward for me helping you? Too. Give him that pack. You're too kind, human. I thank you for your generosity. Most of your kind here on Terrace care little for aliens like myself. Once more, thank you for saving me from those human children. I must take leave of you now. My life mate will be wondering where I am. Light side bolt points gained, 60 experience, and lost the med pack. Oh no. Alright, yep, we're rolling towards light. There are another couple times in the game where we'll take dark hits in order to literally do quests we otherwise couldn't do and get some neat rewards for them. Alright, let's go back to Janice Stahl. Now she will sell us T3M4. He's not great in combat, but for now we'll sub him out for Zalbar. Keep, uh, we'll keep Bastila as our second combatant. Hachu Apanki. I heard Jenny Starkiller finally got his match. I can't Chua say I'm surprised Bimbo that he's Johnny. getting on in years. People start to lose their edge as they get older. That's the nice thing about droids. They nearly make them check and a few of them place with parts here and there and they can last forever. Kendra said you'd sell the T3M4 droid to me. Oh, Kendra sent you. Why didn't you say so? Okay, the droid is ready. You can have it for 2,000 credits. The price is outrageous, I'll give you half. Give me that droid for free, or Davik will close the shop down permanently. That one gives you dark points, but you can persuade her down if your skill's high enough. I'm not sure it is, it's at the moment levels. Can chop a chop if you're trying to rob me, why not just stick a blaster in my face? On the other hand, I do want to stay on Davik's good side. Tell you what, you sure it's for 1500? It's a deal. Well, look at you, big spender. Okay, the T3M4 unit is yours. Pleasure doing business with you, or real pleasure. T3M4 has joined your party. I'll click this response to go to party selection screen. Okay, so we need to remove Zalbar and put in T3M4, level 3 expert droid. Oops. No, no, no. Add T3. We need him. There we go. Journal entry added, credits lost 1500, experience points received 250. Okay, so... Completed quests. Purchasing a droid. You've purchased the T3M4 droid. If Candorus is right, it should be able to get you inside the Sith base. Uh, we'll turn in Bendix Bounty when we go to meet Candorus in the lower city anyway. So that's... pretty much all of our side quests. Pretty great, isn't it? Alright, let's look at T3. Start with skills. So he's got big, he's got 12 in computer, 7 in demolitions, 0 in stealth, 3 in awareness, 12 in repair, 7 in security. Alright, level up. He's a droid. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at feats. Droid upgrade class 1, prerequisites level 1 droid. As a droid gains experience, its programming becomes more adaptable to new situations. This allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Droid Upgrade Class 1 allows the use of Level 1 upgrade items. Blaster Integration prerequisites utility droid. This feat gives the adaptable T3M4 unit the ability to integrate blasters into its weapon systems. Special universal ports allow internal placement of most models of blaster pistol, tapping the energy pack and emitters as though factory installed. Combat Logic Upgrade, prerequisites, Droid. The droid is fitted with the most basic combat programming, allowing for simple but effective defense maneuvers. This feat grants plus two to defense and is always active. So he starts with a blaster pistol. We can upgrade him to heavy at least. Energy Shield Level 1, equipped. 
Feats up required droid upgrade class 1, uses 10 of 10, deflection, energy 20 points, duration 200 seconds or max damage taken. This is a basic model energy shield universally applicable to most droids. The power drain is significant, however, and units like this must be replaced regularly. Uh, Stun Ray, equipped, feats, feats required droid upgrade class 1, uses 10 out of 10, damage none, on hit, stun, 100% for 9 seconds, save, DC 15 to negate stun, range medium, charges, using this item consumes 1 charge. This item is automatically discarded after all available charges are consumed. Items that have charges do not stack in inventory. Quileg Industrial is becoming the standard in publicly traded non-lethal droid-mounted weapons. Company officials credit aggressive marketing towards any despot with credits. Droid Light Plating Type 1, equipped. Feats required, Droid Upgrade Class 1, Defense Bonus 3. A thin sheet of alloy plating is a relatively inexpensive way to improve a droid's chance of surviving combat. This model is an excellent option for light-duty droids. And a Shield Disruptor, equipped. Feats required, Droid Upgrade Class 1, uses 10 out of 10, damage ion 20 points, range medium. Charges, using this item consumes one charge. This item is automatically discarded after all available charges are consumed. Items that have charges do not stack in inventory. Designed for Republic forces, these devices allow a droid to potentially devastate opponent droids or the personal shielding of an enemy, though the energy drain is quite large. All right, now we'll level up T3. Attributes. Um, for him, it's all about his skill points, so might as well do more intelligence. And skills, we get four points to raise. The computer, security, and do repair. I guess we'll do demolitions. Oh, we can't. Okay, fine. Level five. Computer, repair, security. Demolitions is better than awareness, that's for sure. Feats. Okay. Skill feats are still blarg. We can give him... We can't even give him dueling or weapon fo... Oh. So, the ones that are worthwhile are weapon focus blaster pistol. And... Toughness. I'm gonna give him toughness. Six. Same skills as before. He got another feat. You've been granted the following feats this level. Tactician Logic Upgrade. Tactician Logic Upgrade. Prerequisites level 6 droid. Having witnessed the effects and actions of combat firsthand, the droid is able to self-upgrade their defensive algorithms. This feat grants plus 4 to defense and is always active. This feat replaces the Combat Logic Upgrade. Droid Upgrade Class 2, Prerequisites Level 7 Droid. As a droid gains experience, its programming becomes more adaptable to new situations. This allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Droid Upgrade Class 2 allows the use of Level 1 and Level 2 upgrades. Droid Upgrade Class 3, Prerequisites Level 13 Droid. As a droid gains experience, its programming becomes more adaptable to new situations. This allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Droid Upgrade Class 3 allows the use of Level 1, Level 2, and Level 3 upgrades. So we can either take Improved Toughness or Weapon Focus Blaster Pistol. I'm going to take Improved Toughness. Level 7. Skills. And accept. You have been granted the following feats this level. Droid Upgrade Class 2. Very nice. Okay, cool. Let's flip yes. back to my guy. Let's head to our next actual new area, which is the Sith military base. You might recall that's over here, past the elevator down to the lower city. has been Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you very much for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, then I hope you would give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place to do that is my Discord server. That link is in the video description. And if you care to support me or the channel, the best way, apart from liking and subscribing, is uh, through my Patreon page. That link is also in the video description. My Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they would like to see played on the channel. Kotor itself is one such game. Once a game is chosen, I play it through to the end, and then I move on to another. I have my supporters choose the next one, of course. It's a pretty straightforward process. You can get involved in it if you like. Regardless, I really do appreciate your time and attention. I am grateful to you for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Take care.